What is China? The People's Republic of China, commonly known as China, is located in East Asia. It borders 14 nations more than any other country in the world. It is the most populous state in the world with over 1.3 billion citizens, while the world population is 6.8 billion, that means out of every five people in the world, one is Chinese. China is made up of 56 distinct ethnic groups with 10 Chinese making up 92% of its whole population. China is a single party state governed by the Communist Party of China, whose power is enshrined in Chinese constitution. Though China is officially an atheist country, its religious roots lie within Confucianism, Buddhism and Taoism, and from these most social and moral values are derived. There are also a significant number of Chinese Muslims who arrived via the Silk Road trade route and still retain their own distinct culture. History China is one of the world's oldest civilizations, dating back more than five millennia and was ruled by successive dynasties until 1912. During this time, many great discoveries in the fields of science and technology were made, including the inventions of printing, paper, gunpowder and the compass. This period also saw the construction of many landmarks, such as the Great Wall which stretches over 4,000 miles, equals to 30 return travels from London to Paris. After a period of foreign occupation and civil war, the Communist Party of China, led by Mao, gained the control of mainland China in 1949 and established the People's Republic of China. The modern China of today is as much shaped by its past as it is rapidly abandoning old ways and looking to the future. While many of its big cities are comparable to any in the West, the underlying culture is still vastly different. Traveling outside large urban areas also highlights the growing disparity between rich and the poor. Language Chinese is the most widely spoken language in the world as well as one of the most impalatable for foreigners. There are many regional dialects of Chinese, although the most widely spoken is Mandarin and Cantonese. Chinese characters evolved over time from earlier forms of hieroglyphs. Chinese contains over 40,000 characters, but a well-educated person can recognize around 6,000 characters. Some 3,000 are required to read a newspaper. Chinese Canada Chinese zodiac is a scheme that relates each year to an animal. This is the year rabbit. Chinese New Year is the most important of the traditional Chinese holidays. Windows and doors would be decorated with red color paper cuts and a couplet with popular themes of happiness, wealth and longevity. On the eve of Chinese New Year, supper is a feast with families. The family will end the night with firecrackers. Early the next morning, children will meet their parents by wishing them a healthy and happy New Year and receive money in red paper envelopes. Chinese people love red color, which symbolizes prosperity and good luck. The period around Chinese New Year is also the time of the largest human migration, when between 150 and 200 million migrant workers in China bring home their earnings and go to have reunion dinner with their families on Chinese New Year's Eve. Youth Most married couples in China are subject to the one-child policy, which was introduced in 1979 to curb massive population growth. It is believed to have prevented more than 300 million births since then. Another consequence of the policy has been the emergence of so-called little emperors. A generation of self-centered consumers has developed. While the Chinese education system has rapidly developed, there remains a heavy emphasis on passing exams. The upshot of this is that exams dictate the curriculum, while Chinese students can master and memorize incredible amounts of knowledge and information. They often lack the ability to critically think, develop their own opinions, and engage in creative activities. Due to the propensity for preferring sons over daughters, China is facing a large population imbalance with currently around 120 boys born for every 100 girls. By 2020, there will be 30 million more men than women. Economy Since economic opening up and reform policy began in 1978, China's economy has grown 90 times bigger and is the fastest growing major economy in the world. China's annual average GDP growth is predicted to be 9.5% for the period of 2011 to 2015. It is the world's largest exporter and the second largest importer of goods. It is also now the world's second biggest consumer of luxury goods. It now has the world's second largest GDP at about 6 trillion US dollars, 40% of the United States. Although its per capita income of 4300 US dollars is still low and puts China behind roughly 100 countries, China's growth has been uneven when comparing different geographic regions and the rural and urban areas. Development has also been mainly concentrated in the eastern coastal regions, while the remainder of the country are left behind. In the past decade, China's cities expanded at an average rate of 10% annually, a scale unprecedented in human history. China is a country crazy for skyscrapers to show its economic booming. More than 200 skyscrapers are being built here now. 
In the next three years, there will be one skyscraper completed every five days in China, which will make the total 800 in five years' time, four times as many in the States. China is the world factory. One out of every three household appliances, three toys, two pairs of shoes, two shirts are made in China. It has now become the world's largest energy consumer, but relies on coal to supply about 70% of its energy needs. Leading Chinese environmental campaigners have warned that water pollution is one of the most serious threats facing China now. Yet with 34.6 billion US dollars invested in clean technology in 2009, China is the world's leading investor in renewable energy technologies. China produces more wind turbines and solar panels than each year than any other country in the world. Food Being such a large and ethnically diverse country, each region has its own local specialities which the Chinese are often keen to try and introduce to others. Generally, you will find hot and spicy food in the west and the central China, and a cooler food in the south and the north. A Chinese dining table is usually round, allowing everyone to engage equally in conversation. It will be set empty bowls, plates, and chopsticks for each person. Food dishes are placed into the center of the table to be shared between everyone. Don't be put off if you see people spitting bowls or seeds onto the plate. This is perfectly normal. Contrary to what you might find in your local Chinatown, Chinese food is generally healthy and often beautifully presented. Texture, flavor, color and aroma are key considerations for all Chinese cooks, even about nutrition contents. Chinese dining is about showing respect and hospitality for the guests and is often used as an extension of the boardroom. Heavy drinking is often part of doing business and it is expected that you will keep up with the others. If you do not want to drink alcohol, make it clear before you start. Core Concept Face means The concept of face can be loosely described as someone's social status or reputation in the eyes of others. Throughout the Chinese person's life, it must be maintained and enhanced through giving to and receiving from others in both words and actions. It may be something as small as who gets in the lift first to the awarding of a multi-million dollar contract, but without it you will have very little power or influence. To make someone lose face or even annoyingly is a huge design and could mean the end of a relationship. Connections Guanxi Guanxi literally means connections or relationships and essentially boils down to exchanging favors. You scratch my back, you scratch yours. It can loosely be compared with the idea of network in the West, but usually goes much further in terms of developing and nurturing the relationships through social exchanges and favors, which must be repaid at greater value in time. Relationships between families, friends, and the business associates are often closely interwoven. In such an environment, issues of corruption are not uncommon when Guanxi obligations take precedence over normal rules or laws. The Doctrine of the Mean Zhong Yong Known as the Doctrine of the Mean or Guna Mean, this concept evolves balancing one's position among a group to maintain conformity and a sense of harmony. To do this while still achieving one's personal objectives is considered by the Chinese people to be the ideal way of living. This can be applied to the workplace, where one should behave in a way which is seen to be neither ambiguous nor lazy at the same time. Chinese people never openly criticize, ignore or make fun of a person in front of others, even jokingly. When discussing individual performance, they always emphasize good points before bad ones. Differences Chinese people may ask you personal questions or make observations about your age, income, religion or appearance, but don't take it personally. Likewise, Chinese rarely say please or thank you, as it is seen as a necessary formality between friends or family. In a Chinese meeting, often only the most senior attendees will talk, and all questions should be directed to those people. Silence is not a sign of weakness in China. Often the unsaid message is more important than what is being said verbally. To be successful in China requires different ways of thinking. A famous Chinese historian professor put this well. The Chinese people are Frank, yet tactful. Honest, yet sophisticated. Suspicious, yet gullible. Unscrupulous, yet loyal. Advocate etiquette, yet often appear in manner. Stand for the golden mean, yet are extreme. Value the quality of being thrifty, yet like to parade their wealth. Maintain traditions, yet love to chase modern fashion. Believe contentment brings happiness, yet often they dream about becoming overnight millionaires. Believe the word of the fortune teller, yet lack affiliation to any religion. This is China, one big contradiction which refuses to be placed in the box. 
In China, you will find all extremes, but that's all part of the challenge and adventure of doing business here. Be patient and have fun.